This is tutorial number nine, and it covers the compass views within CATIA v5. To start off, open up the fishing reel step file, which is included on the DVD. Now, what I'm going to go over in this tutorial is the views and moving around with the compass in CATIA v5. Now, this guy here is your compass, and you can turn him on and off if you go to view compass, and to turn him back on, get the check mark back, and he's back. Now, if we go and look, when we rotate this object, you can see that the compass also moves. So rather than using the mouse and moving around and panning around and whatnot, you're, able also, you're also able to just use the compass up here. So if you click on the ball at the top of the compass, you're able to move your object around any direction, anywhere, in any way. Now, you're able to either select the ball or you can select a axis line or you can select a plane. So let's say we want to move them across the Y. So we'll click on the Y and you can move them across the Y. Click on the Z, move them up and down the Z and let's try to get the X. Get the X and you can move them across the X. Now you're able to rotate. So we're going to rotate about the X, so we'll use this to rotate around the X. Now let's rotate around the Z, so we'll click this one and we'll rotate around the Z. And we'll rotate around the Y and we'll use this one, so it's rotating around the Y. Now you're also able to pick a plane to move them across, so let's use the Z and Y plane. So click the entire plane and you're able to move them around the Z and Y plane. Let's do the Z and X, the entire Z and X, and then we'll do the X and Y plane, and you can move them around the X and Y plane. So by using the compass, it's just another tool that allows you to be more precise when you're moving your component and just manipulating uh, your component and products. And this concludes our tutorial on the uh, compass views within CATIA v5.